YouTube. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about Neville Gallimore, um, defensive tackle out of Oklahoma. Um, I see him primarily playing three tech in like a four three scheme. I guess if a three four team drafts him, I'd move, I'd play him at defensive end. Don't put him at nose. But I don't think he's best in a three four. Uh, you can develop him that way, but I, I just don't think that that's his best bet. Um, he does move really well for his size. He's 6'2 and 305 odd pounds. Um, and he ran like a high 4'7 in the 40 at the combine. So, like I said, he, he, he can move pretty well for how big he is. Um, and it really shows up on tape as well. Him being able to, especially in gap exchanges, because Oklahoma likes to do a lot of that stuff. He, they like to get their defensive their defensive line moving. And um, they do a lot of gap exchanges. And honestly, it kind of made him hard to scout. Just because the best way to scout defensive linemen and offensive linemen is watching them in their one-on-one -on -one matchups. And he didn't really get that many because he's always doing gap exchanges. So it made it kind of difficult. Um, and a lot of times, once teams caught on to their gap exchanges... They would just they would just run their offense the same direction that the gap exchange is going, and then they would just run underneath it. Um, that's how you defeat gap exchanges, by the way, if you didn't know. But um, yeah, it, it made things kind of difficult. But I was able to get a general idea of what I think about him. Um, I like him. I I just think he needs to do a little bit more work. I think he needs to get a good um, defensive line coach to get a hold of him in the NFL. Uh, he moves really well. Um, he shows flashes of power, but he needs to learn how to use it with better timing. Um, sometimes he just tries to run down the middle of people and it, that doesn't really work. Um, he, he just needs to learn when to use his power and when to use technique. Um, and he has shown flashes of having good hands too, um, getting his hands inside and you know swimming over them, pulling cloth, stuff like that. But uh, it, like I said, it's only been flashes. He hasn't done it a whole lot. Um, I, I'd like to see a defensive line coach get him and um, teach him to do that stuff a little bit more consistently. Um, one thing I will say about this guy, and it's possibly my favorite feature of him, is his effort. This dude doesn't quit. <coughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, this dude just doesn't quit at all. He has no quit in him. Um, good pursuit. All that. Uh, just really, really talented player. And I, I think he can develop into being a really solid guy. I just... I just wouldn't... I don't know I don't know where I would draft him necessarily. I'm, I'm not that kind of guy. Uh... It would just depend on where everything's falling, to be honest. But uh, probably, probably early day two, maybe. Um, I don't know, maybe third round. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I, I I do like this guy. As far as what I think he can do for you day one, I don't. I wouldn't start him necessarily. But if you want to play him in like third and long situations where it's primarily going to be passes uh, put him in at three tech just let him tear shit up but, and that's also why i want him to play three tech because i just want him to line up in b gap and go um just blow up the guard use his explosiveness um the reason why i don't want him in a three four is because in a three four you're gonna get double teamed a lot that's just the nature of it and um, he's not really that good with his hands to get off blocks, so that's not that's not the greatest situation for him. So um, anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, if you liked it, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.